here comes the second baseman Jose Altuve to get things kicked off in the home half of inning number one. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. The 2-2. Two -two. Locks him up for strike three. Next up for the Strohs, Kyle Tucker, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And he misses with it one and one. Tucker is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground. He has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. So we got him swinging. Kyle Tucker becomes the second out of the bottom of the first. Jordan Alvarez is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Count now a ball and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even got himself. Well, the first baseman is under it to make. The next to bat for St. Louis, Bob Gibson, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Fowler stands at first with one out. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1-0. Right on, but this is foul down toward the box at third. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Oh, he just threw that fastball by him. The 2-2. Two -two. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Again, he sends it out of play. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Now here it comes. Fly ball into straightaway left. O'Neill comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fouled off. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now. 0 and 2. That fastball was a lively. Threw it right past him. A swing. First offering on its way, and no swing apparently. Ball one. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Fowler has a read on it. One away. Striding in for Houston. Martin Maldonado. And that misses ball one. Count one and That evens it up one and one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Gotta find a way to keep his hands back. Fouled away. This is hit high and deep out to left. Back on it is the left fielder. Gone as it's into the Crawford boxes. At the plate, Justin Verlander. As the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Popped up. Wong takes charge and he's got it. Two down. 
So up to the plate next will be Jose Altuve. He was called out on strikes to open the home first. Now this pitch is swung on and popped up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line to the right side. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Jordan Alvarez is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Outside, two and one. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Now a leaping effort at the wall, but he comes up empty. This one is gone. Home run. So next to swing the bat will be Carlos Correa. The wind up and the 0-1. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Two mid 90s fastballs right there that he doesn't. Now that ball is smoked, carrying the deep left. Gone! Back to back homers. Stepping in, Jose Altuve. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And that's by him, it's 0 and 1. Altuve. A ball and a strike to Houston's leadoff batter. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Kyle Tucker comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Tucker is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down, if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah, and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways, like you said, Matty. Hits the ball on the ground, he has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Fowler has a read on it, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now in the box, Jordan Alvarez looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And there's ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. And this one runs in on him as he can. Here's the first pitch to him. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. And this is taken in by Fowler for the first out. And the pitch. A high fastball is in there. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1-0 lead. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1-1. One Liner toward right center. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. First pitch on its way. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. And it's one and two. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting. A swing and a miss. That. First pitch on its way from Verlander. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Oh, and he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Two mid-90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he... 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Count one and zero. Oh. The one zero -oh home pulled toward right center field. Bader is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Batting it, the catcher, Martin. Martin Maldonado stands in as he can't connect here. 0 and 1. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. Popped up. Goldschmidt is under it. Two gone. Now to the plate is the Astros pitcher, Justin Verlander. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hip column. Fouled off. Ball one. A ball and two strikes to the Astros pitcher. Grounded to the right. A dive by Goldschmidt. Wow. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. O'Neill is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. Digging in for his second at bat, Kyle Tucker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Fouled away. Pulled toward right center field. Bader is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Jordan Alvarez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Too low, 1-0. There's a breaking ball, but it's laid off and doesn't find the zone. Two balls and a strike. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Three balls and a strike to Houston's left fielder. This is good patience here to work at the three and one, especially after two quick outs to start the inning. Even if you don't end up getting a hit or drawing a walk, at least you're making the guy work a little bit and giving your pitcher a chance to rest a little. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no one, two, three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. Carlos Correa is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's one and oh. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Ready with the 2-0. Curveball fooled him there as he's way out in front. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. I went to the slider to try and get him to chase, but it's full now. Three and two. Swing and a miss. And that Next to hit will be the pitcher, Bob Gibson. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Back in standing. Set and the pitch. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Now Verlander will turn and go to first, and the runner will get back standing. Working for the punch out and the offering. Uh, got him on the first pitch of the at bat. Hey. Oh and one. This is hit the other way out toward left field. O'Neill waits on it. One down. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit in the air to left. O'Neill is right there. And that's out number two. First delivery to him on the way. 
1-0. Fastball at 96 on the radar gun, and it's 1-1. One and one. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Went up and out of the zone that time but he gets a piece of it and he'll see another pitch. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. Freezes him a strikeout looking. Our final line for tonight. 